Hey, just just look at us. Look at us. No script. No lights, all natural lights coming from outside. It's just you and me, and we're gonna talk about my first impressions about M1 iMac, and of course, why I returned it, and I'm, I'm getting a new one. But the new one is gonna arrive late July, which means this normal uh, review video that I was planning is gonna be delayed for a really long time. That's why I wanted to shoot this video in case you have the same problem that I had with my iMac and if it bothers you, if you think it's gonna be a problem when it's time to sell it or not. And the problem I had with my iMac it has nothing to do with the performance, nothing to do with anything. It was just mounted wrong, a little bad to the stand. This is an M1 iMac and as you can see, there's nothing underneath it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it here. As you can see, it's perfect fit. And then we're gonna move here without moving anything. And guess what? Oh no, this had to happen to me, I guess. Let's look. Seven centimeters, seven point six centimeters. Let's go to this side. Eight centimeters, which may bother if you're obsessed with such thing. If you have, you know, OCD or stuff. I don't have OCD, and I don't want you guys to think anything like that about me. I, and I especially don't want something like that to stick to me. I have nothing. I don't care. It can be slanted all at once. I never cared and I but if you do I am imagining it must be really once you see it you can't unsee it and it must be really painful there is zero evidence that I have such obsession and and let's just leave it there okay so my uh, iMac when I when it was time to do the beauty shots and stuff like that I realized it was a little uh, hanging to the side and and when I made my calculations when I brought my ruler and other stuff I realized it's a little slanted and then I went to I fixed its website and I look how it, it's mounted if it's something I can fix or not and Yes, there are, um, I think uh, Seven screws that you need to undo and then fix it my iMac was uh, maxed out so I'm guessing maybe it was not um, taken well care of when it was maybe it was rushed but the beauty of uh, shopping from Apple is just you send it back and you can get a new one and it's not a big deal so if you have one and if you and, and if this is something that's gonna bother you just look at it now while you have time to return it or reach out to Apple's support and get it fixed if you like other than that, let's get to unboxing. Unboxing the M1 iMac is a lot of fun as you've seen from the other videos probably by now. It comes with the matching color of your iMac and when you open it up, it's just, it's just beautiful. The box opens by itself and you take the iMac out, it's super light and then you get surprised. And um, the keyboard and trackpad and if you gotta get a mouse, they are all matching colors you get the, the cable and the USB-C to lightning cable with the matching braid on it it all looks beautiful from behind iMac looks gorgeous it's just amazing it's, it's, it's a shame that that's gonna face the wall in my setup it's just beautiful from front I understand the complaints about the white bezels and I understand when people say white bezels blend with the wall. They are all legit. I understand everyone's um, point of view. My problem was, yes, it's beautiful. It blends with the wall, but then the chin at the bottom sticks out. If it was black, then uh, it may look older than how it is because this thing is this thing is something else. When it comes to performance, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. It is something else. So being white and different like the iPad is cool. 
And the performance is so good that I decided to make this video comparing it to my Mac Pro. And I can tell you that they are really close. That thing, the M1 iMac, I mean, the future is great. That's all I can say. Of course, I wanted to see what would happen in a real situation, in a really heavy video editing project with all the plugins, with all the external drives you plug in and everything. Then what does this machine do? Can it keep up? Do I need uh, hubs and stuff like that? It seems like it's coming really close to Mac Pro. I mean, I think we need a, <laughs> you may, we may need an update to Mac Pro. The sound coming out of this device is fantastic. Uh, Mac Pro has a tiny speaker on the tower. You need to get your own sound system. The camera on top of the screen is surprisingly good. The, the image signal processor is doing a really great job. It's looking really good. Uh, this one doesn't have a camera. You need to plug in your own camera if you want to FaceTime and stuff like that. Uh, the keyboard, I wish we can order it with the full-size keyboard because I'm really used to this. I'm really used to number pad and uh, arrow keys to be in the middle where I can reach easier. Um, that kind of bothered me, but the Touch ID works super fast and the, the machine is so zippy that as soon as you touch it, it just turns on. Mac Pro doesn't turn on like that. Mac Pro makes you wait a little bit. It's a gigantic beast. It has to get up from its hibernation. But this M1 iMac was super fast. The mouse, I, I, I can't, I'm not used to this mouse. I can't use this mouse because the grip you have to apply to this mouse is a little different. With these, you just rest your hand on it and your wrist is resting on the desk. With this, yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't like it a lot. Uh, so I use the trackpad. The trackpad is real nice. The corners are a little, little more beveled compared to these which I don't, I don't know why they did that, but you know, it doesn't affect the performance of the keyboard or anything. The touch ID on the keyboard, the button itself is a little stiffer compared to the other keys uh, on purpose, which you don't accidentally hit. So that's good. And other than that, one thing I, I didn't like, genuinely didn't like, is the matte screen. When you're just facing it, it is beautiful and it's matte and it takes care of the glare in a nice way. But as soon as you are looking at the screen with an angle, the, the view gets a little washed out. And I used to have the 17 inch MacBook Pro with the matte, matte screen and that never had that washed out look. So that's something to look out for. And other than that, it's a great device. I'm gonna miss it until the new one arrives. And I feel like as soon as the plugins and everything are ready for M1, it's gonna, it's gonna change the game. It's gonna be like a combustion engine next to a, an electric vehicle. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you have a great week. Thank you for watching. But as always, what I think doesn't matter. What matters is what you think. What do you think about my slanted <laughs> iMac. Do you think it's a problem? If you had one like that, would you care? Or would you just, you know, fold a couple of papers and put underneath it and then just call it a day? Let me know in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves. And hoşçakalın.